Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to show you the jacks and jumpers of your classic circuit board and what they do and why you need to be aware of them. We'll go over to the classic and show you what each one of those do. Okay, on the circuit board over here we have the ground fault jumper. As you can see, the jumper is on one pin only and that defeats ground fault. If we put it across both pins, that enables ground fault. Uh, more information on that, you can see that in the owner's manual. The blue terminal block here is the input and output of the charge controller. PV positive on the right, battery, neg uh, battery positive on the left, and common negatives in the middle. Classic uses a common negative allowing you to run one single wire to a common bus like you would have in an e-panel. Um, you can bring both in there if it's convenient, but you do not have to. Moving over, we have the auxiliary terminal strip, this green terminal strip. We have aux one positive on the far right. We have aux one negative, next one over. Aux two negative, third one over. Aux two positive is the fourth one. We move over here to JP6 and JP8. These are three pin headers. There's a set of jumpers. As you can see, the jumpers are on pins two and pins three. With the pins, with the jumpers on the pins, as you see here, we are using the dry relay for aux 1. If we move JP6 and JP8 to 1 and 2, we now get a 12 volt signal out of aux 1. We'll move on up to the Ethernet jack. This is where you would plug the Classic into the router or into a wireless bridge or using a crossover cable directly into your Classic to use it over the internet or talk to it with a local app. Right here we have the USB jack. This is where you would plug your USB cable in to do a firmware upgrade. The uh, USB cable is included with the Classic, a black cable wrapped up in a red label. This is the battery temperature sensor jack, or BTS as referred to. There is a blue cable and temperature sensor included with the Classic charge controller. That will go from your battery bank and plug into this jack. Up above here on the circuit board, we have four sets of pins, four sets of jumpers. These jumpers do various things. Uh, one of them is a password protection for Modbus. One of them is a stacking jumper. We won't go into details on these. Please refer to the manual for what these jumpers actually do. Okay, right here we have the battery voltage offset calibration potentiometer. The Classic has a tweaks menu where you can calibrate your battery voltage as well as a potentiometer. If you find in the tweaks menu you're getting up to a volt or more of offset to get it accurate, we recommend you come here and adjust this potentiometer. You do need to set the tweaks menu to zero first and then adjust this potentiometer and get as close as you can and then return to the tweaks menu and fine tune it. Now moving up we have RS-232 jacks. The top one is a powered jack and is the one that is normally used for the display on the front of the Classic. If you have multiple displays, the second jack is also powered and can support a second display or a MNGP as we call it, Midnight Graphics Panel. The third jack is non-powered, is intended only for networking. And actually both jacks are used for networking when you daisy chain them together and we'll go into more detail on that in the owner's manual on networking your Classic charge controllers. That's Ben, Jackson Jumpers on your classic charge controller. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.